What's up everyone? It's your boy Giovanni, the G35 fan, back at it again with another video on the G35. So guys, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, like always man, subscribe right down below the video. Do me a favor, put that thumbs up. Not only does it help out the channel, but you get some great content. So that being said guys, been talking too much, so let's get this video started. Alright guys, so if y'all saw the title to today's video, I'm going to be trying out this product. If you don't know what this is, pretty much it's a spray blue tint that you apply on either your side mirrors or your rear view mirror. And um, the whole purpose of it is to eliminate uh, that brightness from a car behind you with their brights on. So it kind of makes it a little more easier on your eyes when you're switching lanes. Um, I already have this feature on my uh, rear view mirror. Uh, some G35s come with it. I don't know if you have the sport package or the premium package. But I'm telling you it works. And um, you know it's something that I didn't even know my G35 came equipped with. So uh, yeah. So the rear view mirror already has this option. But I thought I would try it on my side mirrors. Uh, being that I do want to give the G a different you know sportier look. Because uh a lot of BMWs and luxury vehicles like Mercedes and all that they have this already on their vehicle so I want to you know try to give the G a little more sportier look kind of uh, you know with that blue tint and um, you know I just want to see if it really works so uh, we're gonna try this out and see what happens alright guys so like I had mentioned I haven't seen any of videos on this product so if you're watching this video put a thumbs up man cuz uh, like I said, I like doing these videos to, you know, help out anybody looking to, you know, try this product out. So, please put that thumbs up. I'm hoping this works out. But, uh, reading one of the reviews, uh, the main thing that they said was, being that it's in Japanese, and if you don't, you know, know Japanese and how to read it, it does make it difficult when it comes to the instructions. But, uh, luckily, uh, I looked it up and... I know how to apply this and what steps to take so we're gonna go go on that I mean we'll see what happens but for the most part guys um, the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to clean your mirrors so like I said I'm gonna be doing the side mirror so on this mirror right here I'm gonna clean it up for the driver and the passenger side I am gonna remove this because I am gonna get another mirror a light blue one so I'm gonna pop this off clean this all up let it uh, sit and dry for five to ten minutes and then I'll uh, bag everything off as far as the paint because they did say that this product um, does overspray so you don't want to you know get anything on your paint so I'm gonna bag everything off so it's just you know the mirror exposed and then we'll go from there
uh, you know, look. It's more of like a, a misted look. I don't know if it just takes time to uh, sit after that 24 hours. But for the most part, um, it is turning a different color. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, it's a light blue. So I'll let this sit for 15 minutes and then do the last coat. All right, so now I'm gonna do my final coat and see how it turns out. So here we go. Oof, this stuff stinks. All right, guys. So finished waiting the 15 minutes on the last coat. Like I said, it's three coats. And then on the final third coat, after you wait the 15 minutes, it recommends you waiting 24 hours. So, uh, as you can see, there is different uh, textures on the left and the right. Uh, the left is more like a, uh, you know, clearer look compared to the right side where it's more like a flat, matted uh, texture. So, hopefully the reason for that 24 hour uh, wait period is so that the whole product can you know sit and you know at the end everything will completely be one full texture so I'm hoping that's what you know happens but uh yeah as far as the color it is a light blue so when it comes to you know the product doing what it's supposed to it is a light blue so that is that that's pretty cool so I'm gonna remove all of this uh you know painters tape and stuff and then I'll let it sit overnight and then tomorrow we'll see how everything looks so yeah all right guys so it's the next day it's been 24 hours and I let this product sit on the side mirrors and I'm ready to give you my final thoughts and let you know uh, whether this product is worth buying or if you should just you know get tint so that being said guys when it comes to this product, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. That being said, I know it's only $35, but I would really invest in just getting the blue tint. Now, the reason for that is when it comes to this product, guys, uh, it's very difficult when it comes to applying this product and getting that smooth texture. Um, on my driver's side, the, the mirror, it, it didn't, you know end up giving that shiny look uh, you know like when you look in a mirror uh, it's more of like a, I guess you can say like a, a foggy matted look you could still see through it but the visibility is you know not that clear uh, it does you know eliminate that you know brightness from the cars behind you it does do that but as far as you know it being clear uh, you get a thumbs down for that the smell uh, it's it is a strong chemical smell, but if I could compare it to anything, it's like it has it smells kind of like a peppermint, but like with you know a different odor. I don't know. That's that's probably just me. But uh, if you if you if you get some of that overspray in the air and you get a whiff of it, it can cause you to get a headache. It, it's a strong smell. And then uh, as far as you know, just the product in general, um, it's very messy. Uh, if I would recommend, I would recommend you to take the mirror off your car and maybe spray it that way. But yeah, this this product, uh, you know, it's not worth it. That being said, let me show you all the results. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the results that uh, I have on the driver side and the, on the passenger side. So the one on the driver side, I still have the application on the vehicle, and then on the passenger side, I'm actually removing. Uh, this product already I have to use some gogon and uh, you know a microfiber towel to get it off because it, it is real sticky but um, yeah other than that guys that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed this video um, I mean it if it's me I wouldn't recommend it but you can do whatever you want but uh, yeah if this was your first time tuning to the channel uh, make sure you subscribe right down below the video hit that thumbs up and share this video that way if you know somebody is looking about getting this product maybe they can watch this video and you know think twice about getting this product being that it's so cheap to get but um yeah that's pretty much it guys it's your boy giovanni y'all stay safe out there peace